the job of statisticians is to is to collect data and then based on data make some conclusions so now this is the data about the foot size the foot size of year 10 boys and girls so a sample of year 10 boys and girls were compared to see if the foot sizes were different okay so here an obvious question can be uh, do I wonder if females have smaller foot size than male or males have greater foot size or larger foot size than females now logically uh, if uh, if you want to make uh, some assumptions you can say well I think males do tend to have bigger large uh, uh, larger foot size so this is a sample of so this is the data of males and this is the data of females now before we take the data you need to do some cleaning now cleaning is a process of ignoring or deleting the, those data which does not seem to be appropriate now if you think about a male having a foot size of 12 I would say well this is very unlikely so I would cross that out so I'm, going, I'm not going to consider this then what else can you see there here is a student with a foot size of 255 centimeter well that also doesn't seem to be a, uh, proper so I'm going to ignore that okay 40 also doesn't seem to be 40 is possible so this is cleaning okay so the first question is explain what data you cleaned and how you decided what needed cleaning so you can say well 12 and 12 centimeter and 255 centimeter for a year 10 male is very unlikely so you can ignore that here is a data for female with two centimeters which is very very unlikely and this is 90 which is also very unlikely so you can ignore these two okay so now what you have to do is calculate statistics and plots the plot your statistics on a box and whisker plot so uh, for calculating box sorry to calculate statistics you're talking about uh, minimum uh, lower quartile median upper quartile and maximum so the first thing that we need to do is to order them okay so I have already worked this out so what I have done is I have taken 30 of this so there are about 40, around 45 data here if you know this and this so you don't need to take all the data so I took 30 from both male and female and this is my statistics so I took 30 male and 30 female I have done this on a graphic calculator I'll show you how I did it so if you go to stats enter and enter so this is the data for boys and so in list one I have for females okay sorry in list one I have male and list two I've got female and then I have graphed on a, calcul a graphic calculator and this is how I drew it so this is a box in with whisker so I've taken a screenshot of this and this is the graph okay so this is the this is the stats on the top of the box and whisker for male incidentally the lower quartile and median were the same okay so that's why there is no line here so median and lower quartile for male were the same was the same and for female it was 23 and 24 and 25 so this is 20 this is the lowest value lower quartile median and so on so looking at this we want to make some conclusions so on the basis of your sum of these sample that you have uh, can you make a conclusion for the population so so you're always talking about the population from the sample so this is a sample of around 45 male and female and from that I took 30 so I made a sample size of 30 for both male and female so let's first when you're looking at stats and graphs so when you're looking at graph you got also the stats on top of that so first the thing is you need to write what is obvious okay so writing the obvious the first thing that I can see is uh, median let me make it bigger so that you can read my typing so let me make it 20 
median of males is 2 centimeter greater than female okay what is the next obvious thing that you can see the next obvious thing that I can see is all the summary statistics of males is greater than that of females okay all the summary statistics females that means if you're looking at the if you look at the lower quartile median and upper quartile okay of course uh, the lowest value is the same okay so ignoring the lowest value so let's write ignoring the minimum if you ignore the minimum if you look at all the summary statistics the summary statistics of male is greater than female okay so from this you can make a conclusion that males seems to be males of year 10 uh, seems to have greater uh, foot length than female so you can make the conclusion based on this this should be the language of a conclusion okay I can make the call back in the population of year 10 that from the uh, summary statistics statistics of size 30 I can say that year 10 males seem seem to have larger foot size than that of female okay but now this is enough but if you want to talk in much detail you can also talk about other calculations which is helpful for year 11 students okay so what can you say what what is the other things that you can see so let me delete it I want space to do some calculation now this is for my year 11 students you need to talk about the median shift so the median shift is a difference between the median so the median shift is two centimeters the overall visible spread is the difference between the lower of the lower quartile and the upper of the upper quartile which is 28 minus 28 minus 23 which is 5 and now you define the ratio median shift divided by overall visible spread which is 2 out of 5 which is 4 out of 10 which is 40 percent now what does this mean this implies uh, this implies uh, the so let me write it like this this implies for for the median for the median of female to match for the fee for the median of female to match up with that of male the box of female the box of female has to move has to move 
has to move 40% of the overall visible spread of the OVS. Okay, so now I'll type, I'm taking too long for me to write. So this means, let me make it bigger, so 24. This means, this means we can make the call back in the population of year 10 boys and girls that uh, boys have greater or larger foot size than that of uh, females. And you can also say this is because the sample size uh, that was taken was 30 for both boys and girls and the median shift divided by overall visible spread was greater than 33 and 1 over 3 percent. So this is a rule that you need to remember that for a sample size of 30, if the median shift divided by overall visible spread is greater than 33 and 1 third percent, you can make the call that one is greater than the other or one is smaller than the other. So in both these cases, in both ways, so one thing is very obvious is there is, all, you can talk, also talk about the overall visible, sorry, you can also talk about the overlap. There is no overlap between the boxes and that's one thing that I didn't say. So there's no overlap. Just looking at the boxes, you can see there is no overlap. The median shift divided by overall visible spread is greater than 33 and one third person. And so we can make the call back in the population of year 10 boys and girls that the boys have larger foot size than that of females. Hopefully this video has been helpful.